Want to see a groovy card? Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Today's card project is super simple. We got a little ink blending, we got some groovy flowers, and in the end, a really sweet, clean and simple card that you could send to, well, just about anyone. To see my clean and simple groovy card project, say that five times fast. It's coming up next. gonna make kind of a funky card today. I have a fab floral cover plate, right? So this cuts out these shapes, but there is also a coordinating fab floral die, which you can also use to create both an outline and a fill. And so I have an idea for having a white tone on tone panel, but then doing some ink blending and cutting out a few flowers and seeing what happens when I place them around the card. The first thing I'm going to do is line up this cover plate. I've already trimmed this panel to be four and a quarter by five and a half. I think this should be good. I'm gonna take some of my Simon Says Stamp very, very low tack tape, get this as lined up as I can, right, like that, and then just fold that over. And I think I'll do it on the other side too, just to make sure that it does not slip during the die cutting process. Okay, so let's again, line that up and tape that down. And let's go over to the die cut cam because I'm doing all this on the Gemini today. I think that's gonna be good and run it through. Of course, I have my rotating design board that I love having my Gemini on. Great for limited space. And let's see how this cut. Oh my goodness gracious, that did beautiful. Look at that. We're, we'll come back over to the table to pop all these out. I'm just gonna pop, 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 pop. This is pretty easy. This cut beautifully. So nice and sturdy, like that. And that cut beautifully. All right. Now we'll go on to some ink blending. So my thinking here is to take a grouping to create a rainbow, and I'm just gonna do two colors on each flower, because I think I'm gonna do three, because three is a, well, it's a good magic number, and we're keeping it simple. So we're gonna start out with the peony, and I think I'll use my red brush for this. And let me grab a piece of scrap paper from a video I did just the other day. There we go. Waste not, want not, just to tap some off. All right, let's take this open here. And what I need to do, you know what I might do? I'm gonna break this apart right now. And I'll, I would like to circle the area in which I want to create my blend so that I don't get carried away. You know, cause sometimes you, you think you know what you're doing and then you don't blend right or you get too big. So just, you know, just create three generic regions like that for your flowers. Sorry about that in and out focus thing that happens. It's so weird. All right, now we start. I'm gonna blend peony into sherbet. So just got my little tonic grip mat here. I'm gonna tap quite a bit off because this is a rather juicy ink and we'll just, we're gonna work in rainbow order for our flowers. I'm just gonna let these sit for a couple minutes, really let that ink smooth out. And then we are going to cut 
a flower from each one. So next we're going to cut out the base of the flowers. So just put that there. I think I am going to take a little of the super low tack tape and see if I can just keep it right die and there. That way it won't shift. And then we'll go over and run this through the machine. Place this down and I cut into one plate only, right? And then I'll, I'll flip it every other time. I think I'll just keep it this way for now. Let's run that through. Let's see what our first flower looks like. Pop you up and out. Oh, that is just beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So we'll do the same thing. I think I can reuse this tape too. Uh, I'm gonna get a little more yellow on this, maybe a little less green. I guess the angle on each didn't really matter. Flipping the plates around. That tape is working great. Take that off. Another pretty flower. Ooh, look at that. How much purple do I want? I, I, I'm gonna split it. I love the transition. Oh, but we gotta put this on the proper plate. And for this, we keep it upright this way. But again, get in the habit of flipping your plates every time. But with this sandwich, I always cut into the green plate. I learned that from Jennifer McGuire. And if it's good enough for Jennifer, oh, it's way good enough for me. And we are, we are, we are making some beautiful blooms. All right, let's go back to the table. Do I want to do outlines on this? Let me make my card base first and get this first layer on before I figure out the rest of the design. I'm gonna make my note card. This is 11 inches, four and a quarter, and we'll just score this right at five and a half. Okay. Move that out of the way and give that a good press with my Teflon foam folder. I want to glue this friend right down onto the base, right? And I wanna make sure that it's perfectly sized. I think I'm gonna try using my dot adhesive, my micro dots, but I think I might grab a fresh sheet. So here's another tip. You can do this, right? Okay, take your micro dots, burnish, burnish, burnish. And as you're getting down on your sheet, right? Peel this back, lift it up, Put it in another area and do it again. I feel like that way you're gonna pick up from different areas on the sheet when you're getting down towards the bottom of how much is on here. And you're gonna have more adhesive on the sheet. And actually I can see that all over the back. Okay, I'm gonna show you my little hack for lining things up. If I'm doing a full panel card, bring in your score buddy or your Misty or whatever you have just to kind of Oh, you know what? I don't know if that is sticky enough. I don't feel enough stick on there. I'm going to put a little, extra, I think I used a sheet that was just a little. I'm going to add just a thin level of glue around the edges. I think it was almost to the end. So we're just going to do that really quick. We will press it right into the corner like this and this, and that is the fastest way I know to line this up on the card base. Okay. I am not sure if I want to do this outline. In fact, I don't. I am not going to use these on this one. I just want it to be filled in basically like this. And what I'm going to do, I am going to put foam squares on the back to give this a little dimension. I want to have a bit of dimension of these little flowers, so I'm going to put the little Simon Says Stamp foam squares on each petal. And here's what I'm thinking for a greeting. I have been doing really minimal greetings lately with uh, this friend, and I'll be sure to pop a card up if you wanna see some of those other clips. But I like this look of having a really minimal black and white sort of greeting. And there's all kinds of things. I could do just a simple thinking of you. In fact, I might just do a simple thinking of you. Hope your summer is cool. Uh, you're just beachy keen. We need a pool date. Like any of these would actually work if you were sending a card. Happy summertime. That would be cute. Chill vibes all around. These flowers are kind of hippie-like, aren't they? Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to 
go ahead and cut that out. So let's get that set up. I'm not gonna glue those in yet because I'm not 100% committed. I still might shift it back, but I am going to come in here, use the smallest friend, that one, and again, take my super low tack tape, or what is it called? Very, very low tack tape, because you don't, you don't wanna tear up anything, right? But here's the beautiful thing about this tape. It is very, very low tack, so it's not gonna lift up the ink from these sentiment strips. And these, these dies are really designed to cut these out perfectly so you don't lose the other greetings on the piece. So I'll go ahead and just run that through over on the Gemini and I'll be right back. I think chill vibes all around could be cute. I think Miss you lots could be cute. There's a lot of ways we can go. So I'm going to cut them both. And of course, anything I don't use, I just gather back up and pop into my little clear pocket. These are so great for sentiment strips. Okay. And then I just label mine with whatever it's called. Set that aside for another project. The reason I like chill vibes, it kind of has this, um, maybe a little bit of a partridge family vibe, you know? Hello world, there's a song that we're singing. Come on, get happy. Thank you. Gosh, I love that show, David Cassidy. He was my jam. In fact, that was one of the very first record albums I ever had. I had a Sesame Street album first. Bob McGrath sings Sesame Street. And then I had uh, the Partridge Family Greatest Hits. Okay. If, you, uh, if you're still watching and you know who the Partridge family is, drop me a comment that says David Cassidy. Okay, I don't know which one I wanna use, but I do think I like this arrangement. And what if I did just do chill vibes all around, dead center? You know, that's, that's really cute. That's what we're doing. Miss you lots, whatever. I can send this to my bestie in California because she loves chill vibes. And uh, well, you know. She does know the Partridge family, I think. But here's what I'm gonna do. I just coat this, well, let's see. I'm coating the side because these are printed on white cardstock. That's what a reverse is. That's black ink on white cardstock, right? But I will fill in the sides with an alcohol marker. And I like alcohol markers because they don't, they dry instantly. You know, it's not leaving ink all over everything. And so now, nice, and it looks like it's just all Magic white type on black. Okay, not like a that. Okay, there's my chill vibes all around. And now I just need to add these friends in. So I will take all the backers off. And we like that. I don't think I'm gonna put um, any liquid on here because I just am gonna drop them into place and I think I can handle it. We come in with yellow, because again, we're following that rainbow, popping it right there. Not hard to line up at all. And now again, we want the blue to be facing up, oh, so that it continues our beautiful rainbow pattern. Isn't that fun? See that? Now look. It's got just the littlest bit of like dimension. I could have popped it up a little higher, but I actually think this is pretty cool just as is. So let's go ahead and get ready to add chill vibes all around. I'm not gonna put uh, foam squares there. I, it, I run the risk I know of it getting a little flattened, but I feel like I would need to possibly double it up because of the extra height. So I am gonna roll the dice, do a little liquid glue on these foam squares so I have a second before I have to commit. Although that's, that's a lot, can I? Kind of swirl that around a little. Now I can bring in my ruler. I can press it right against the edge there. That way when I place this down, although you know what, this is not a hard one to place down, right? This is like, this is like super easy. Just come in the center like that. Let go, make sure it's about the same from side to side. Does that look about the same? And bring it up like that. Press. And we're just gonna let that adhere. So cute. 
chill vibes all around. Love it. Now, let me think if there's some bling that I can add. I thought I would just put sequins where the flowers intersect. In hindsight, I may squeeze one in there, and I'll show you that in a second if I change my mind. Oh, the sun's, sun's going down. But let's just put them in the middle, just for a little, boop. Oh, there was two there. <laughs> for a little neutral shine. Boop. You know what else would have been cute with this is to do a, boop, like a glitter panel of cardstock underneath. That would have been kind of over the top and fun, I think. But this just is a little, boop, a little fun, right? Just a little extra shine. Boop. And like I said, if I want to make this work, I'll tell you what I could do. And I don't know. We're going to have to try it. Take a sequin, right, like that, and cut it in half. Oh my gosh, this is sequin surgery because I already placed that down. And if I wanted, couldn't I place that? Let's just let's just look at it first. Like I could slide that in, or would it? I don't know. Let's see. Well, I mean, if I did, it's going to give the illusion that that's a real big center. Kind of fun. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of glue here, and here. Okay, not much. Just kind of shove it in, because it'll have enough glue on it. Got that on the top that we can just kind of push that in like that. Same thing on here. Forgive me, I'm gonna turn this because I wanna be able to see what I'm doing. And we'll just kind of squeeze that there. I don't even think if I would have had a sequin there, it would not have shown. So what's kind of fun about that is now we do get a little shine in the center like we have a very big sequin. Oh, and that's the finished card project. I love simple ink blends, but basically what is essentially more of a die cutting kind of card. But look at how smooth the inks are now that they've dried. I mean, and it looked like a blotchy mucky muck, but that is a gorgeous rainbow. So simple. And I hope this inspires you to check out some of the new products that are out today. I had so much fun making this card. You can find links to everything I used in today's video below in the YouTube description box. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, and I will see you back here with another card project soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. I would love to have you. Here I've got a couple more videos with some simple rainbow blends and ink blends for you to check out and watch some more content here on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video.